Let us begin in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. <clears throat> good morning to all of you, and good morning to folks who are at home watching us live. And I hope that today will be okay with the video and the sounds. Hope. But it doesn't mean that we give up. It means that we do what we can in such a way that reflect the gospel message that today is a gift. If a gift in our daily life, that sometimes it doesn't turn out the way we want it. However, it's a gift that I'll keep going. It also reflects on the true love of Jesus, of God, uh, continue to operate in our life. But we also know that we come up with our shortcomings. So let us take a moment to ask God for mercy. You were sent to heal the constraint of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinner. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you, good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your sons, who live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. In these words, prophesy to them. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who have been pasturing themselves. Should not shepherds rather pasture the sheep? You have fed off their milk, worn their wool, and slaughtered their fatlings, but the sheep you have not pastured. You did not strengthen the weak, nor heal the sick, nor bind up the injured. You did not bring back the strayed, nor seek the lost, but you lorded it over them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered for the lack of a shepherd and became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered and wandered over all the mountains and the high hills. My sheep were scattered over the whole earth with no one to look after them or to search for them. Therefore, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. As I live, says the Lord God, because my sheep have been given over to pillage and because my sheep have become food for every wild beast for the lack of a shepherd, because my shepherds did not look after my sheep but pastured themselves and did not pasture my sheep, because of this, shepherds, Hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, I swear I am coming against these shepherds. I will claim my sheep from them and put a stop to their shepherding my sheep so that they may no longer pasture themselves. I will save my sheep that they may no longer be food for their mouths. For thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. The word of the Lord. Sponsor of Psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me. He refreshes my soul. He guides me in right paths for his name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil. 
for you are at my side. With your rod and your staff, they give me courage. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. To the Lord. Only goodness and kindness will follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord be with you. A reading from Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for his vineyards. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyards. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you two go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off, and he went out again around noon and around three o'clock, and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You two go into my vineyard. And when it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to, the, to his foreman, Summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those had started about five o'clock came, each received the usually daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on the receiving, on the receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones work only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who bore the day's burdens and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friends, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this one the same as you? Oh, am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. I think in, in life, in a practical sense, when we look at this parable, you say, well, it's kind of unjust there. You know, I work more, I should earn more. In practical sense. But at the same time, the landowner here also have to say, well, by verbal contract, did we agree to this? Which is true. Both are true. However, I think Jesus pointing out the parable here is the relationship the gift of God, the love of God, is a free gift. There is no transaction come to relationship. And we know this. We know this in relationship that as soon as we put value, like material value um, in the relationship as a transactional means, we know that relationship will not last. It's begin to fall apart because everything we put there is a value, something that is material. The love here, <clears throat> what Jesus is pointing out, is like ongoing. This is a love that we take care of one another, that God takes care of us. In turn, we you the same love that we experience. In turn, take care of our neighbor. Taking care of our neighbor is also mean that in the relationship, there is no transaction in there. We helping our neighbor doesn't mean that we demanding for something in return. We helping our neighbor because we love our neighbor. 
just as we engage in the relationship with God, it's a free, free gift of free love. So <clears throat> the parable for us here is regardless, regardless what, who we are, what we are, God will always look at us and say that you are my sons, you are my daughter. We all have the same love that God giving us. In turn, we should do treat our neighbors the same way as well. Let us stand for prayer and petition. We pray for authentic trust in God that we may call out in faith with sincerity and conviction to God who save and deliver us from all our sufferings and needs. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for an end to racism and prejudice, that God will turn hearts and change minds so that everyone may be respected and their dignity affirmed. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick, that God's healing love will strengthen them, remove their pain and restore them to wholeness. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are still seeking for employment, that God continue to give them the more opportunities and open their heart, their mind to seeking out possibilities that are available to them. Let us pray to the Lord. We also offer our prayer intention, deep silent in our own heart. Let us pray to the Lord. God, the Father of love, we ask you to listen to our prayer and grant them according to your holy will. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the breath we offer you. The fruit of the earth and the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we offer you. The fruit of the vine and the work of human hands, this will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which it brought a, a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may mercy receive your very self through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvations, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness you form it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too adore you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fountain of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim and profess the resurrection till you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the breath of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles, and all the saints who please you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coherent to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor, honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace that leaves you and my peace that gives you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. I am the living bread that came down from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats my br- whoever eat this bread will live forever. Let us pray. May partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conform to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his heirs in heaven who live and reign forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended, go in peace. And have a good day as well. I heard a beautiful day today.